Hey Libras, welcome to the channel if you're new and if you're one of my incredible subscribers, thank you for being here. And if you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and do so. It is free. Um, join the channel. Also, please note these are general messages so they're not going to resonate for everybody. Just take what does and leave the rest. Um, even if it is resonating and you don't like the way that it's going, keep in mind that you do have free will. Nothing that we say is gospel so please do not give your power away to any tarot reader or anybody for that matter um because you the person that you're dealing with the situation energy can change like that so yeah please don't take it as gospel okay and further uh please note that if my energy doesn't resonate with you or if my style of reading doesn't there are plenty of other amazing youtube readers out there so many of them so definitely look around. You'll you'll find one I'm sure that will connect more um, with your vibration, okay? Because I want you to get the best messages possible. <sighs> okay. If you'd like a personal reading, and thank you to everybody who's been getting them, and for the donations, I can't thank you enough. So generous. But yeah, please go ahead and. help me get your energy flowing here all right libra libra and love what do we got libra's love situationship what what messages do you have for libra please okay too many cards unrequited love oh dear are you dealing with a scorpio scorpio had this card come out libra please getting to know each other so it's not really at a love stage yet I feel that you are taking that time you're talking spending time together maybe emailing back and forth texting back and forth so I don't feel that it's at a stage of love yet love yourself first yeah I really I hate to say this but I feel like some of you are dealing with a Scorpio and they if you are be sure to keep a sense of self and I just say that because whoever Scorpio was dealing with um they completely lost themselves to the point of over emotional whilst dealing with their Scorp so for others of you I think that there's just a, a warning here to not lose yourself okay this person may wow you they may make you feel on top of the world you could get that heady rush of dopamine all the chemicals in your brain and then your body is reacting and you're just feeling like on cloud nine like you've got everything but the thing is and here's your energy or no sorry actually you could be dealing with a taurus virgo or capricorn but it speaks about self-respect making you more romantically attractive as you get to know each other so maybe just hold back a little bit in how much you're letting them into your life in the beginning because you are just getting to know each other and sometimes we give too much too soon right and that happens because we're just you know we're on cloud nine and i feel like the way that this queen is looking at that pentacle i feel like she's almost treasuring it something outside of her more than herself do you know what i'm saying so make sure that you're giving as much energy and attention and love to yourself that you're giving to this other person. So that's how I feel like you're showing up. Despite that, I mean, it looks as though you're doing exceptionally well. It looks as though finances should be okay. You should be in a stable place in terms of your luxuries and your materialisms. And you're looking beautiful. Them. <clears throat> sorry one sec and there goes my throat chakra <laughs> so in this getting to know each other perhaps why my throat chakra started to act up is because look how they're showing up they're showing up as the moon okay so I feel like there's some kind of obviously there's cloudiness but there's things that you don't know and maybe that's what's making you feel that you have to do a little more to get to know them but the thing is this moon energy, there's something hidden that you're not seeing. You don't have all the facts yet. I guess that's what this is saying, okay? 
So let's keep going and see where that's that's headed. But speaking to not not seeing everything clearly at this point in time and also suppressed emotions coming up. So that's what I mean where I felt like there was that rush of emotion. And I feel like this person brings that out of you, which can be a good thing, but not if you start losing yourself in trying to put your best foot forward, right? Yeah, look at that. You've put them on a pedestal, okay? Now you can go ahead and reverse these energies if you like, if it makes more sense that this is you, that's okay too. But this is about seeing them as amazing. Maybe they're in the spotlight, maybe they've got a lot of followers on social media, they may have a YouTube account. They may have, I don't know, a lot of followers on Instagram, whatever be the case. They could be a star of some sort, right? They could be in some minor league sports or even major league sports. But um, I feel like you have definitely put them way up, just like this queen is looking so so intently at this pentacle and not paying attention to all of the beauty around her it's like that is her focus and and that is what you're doing is you're putting this person on such a pe pedestal let's see how they see you see how they see you they see you as the king of pentacles they see that you're well off financially like i was telling you you were doing <laughs> You're doing fine in terms of your finances and your home and your career. You're very stable. You may have been married in the past, okay? Uh, you may want marriage at this point in time. But there's something here with this moon beside the King of Pentacles. They Are they looking at you because of your stability and your status? Or is this because you make them feel like a king? So are, are they looking at keeping you around just because you put them on a throne? Maybe that's what's hidden here. Let's keep going though, let's keep going. I could be very wrong. Let's see how you see this connection. Interesting. I don't feel that you share the same beliefs or the same, same values, or perhaps you're just not in a relationship yet, which is, this is confirming, but this is, may be what you want, right? Because you're still in the getting to know each other stage. Let's see how they see the connection. How do they see the connection with Libra? How do they see the connection with Libra? Oh yeah, there we go. They're a player. Knight of Wands. This is the player card of the deck and because it's showing up um, in reverse and maybe that's why you don't feel like you have this connection yet is because this person is coming in and out of your life. They show up when they feel like it. Why? Because you put them on a pedestal. So there they are. They're sitting there on their throne. They're feeling so good about themselves. And I think that you're left questioning all the time. Well, where do they go? Because you, you don't know where they are sometimes. I mean they may just pull the disappearing act it's like everything's going well you're getting to know each other and then you're stuck trying to soothe maybe even yourself maybe maybe that's your own emotions that you're holding your hand you're trying to soothe yourself because you're you're feeling like there's no love but then this person comes back and you feel all on top of the world again and they may make you feel like you're on top of the world they may even bs you and say that they're into this long-term relationship but you're seeing that they're not committing I think you're on to them despite the fact, and that's probably why you're watching this reading right now. I think you know deep down that this person is non-committal. That's why you're seeing this connection as non-committal. And that's why they're seeing it as I'll come and go as I please, and I don't have to answer to anybody. Hence the secrecy. Hence not seeing everything, not seeing the truth of the situation completely. So what do you want or need? <laughs> Oh, look at that. Two cards came out. Look at that from two separate decks. The Knight of Wands came up in reverse. And this is listening to your power, your inner, your higher self. I told you, 
I told you, you sensed something was up, Libra. That's why you came to this reading. You, you sense deep down that no matter how much bull butter this person throws at you, no matter how slippery, I'm getting slippery. I feel like they're very good. They're very good at keeping you held on, right? Especially when the dopamine and all of those beautiful love chemicals start going off in your head when you're getting to know each other and then you're left on your own and you're soothing yourself because you're you're by yourself and then you're like oh i guess they don't love me but then they come back again and you're just it's like this this vicious cycle and spirit is telling you listen to your intuition your intuition is speaking to you loud and clearly you already see what's behind that veil you know it you know that they're a player but i think in your beautiful hearts you wanted to give it a shot. You wanted to give it that chance. You wanted, to, you were hoping that the sun would come out and illuminate something other than these cloudy feelings or this cl cloudy, slippery energy as they show up and go. They come and go, come and go. So it's just like waves, right? They come in, they crash so hard, but and they suck you in, but then they throw you back out, right? And then they suck you in and throw you back out. So I feel like that's what has happened here for you. And this person can be so incredibly charming. There is no question about it. There's no question about it. This person is sexy. They are a smooth talker. They could be affectionate. They, they may hug you and kiss you and make you feel so cared about, but yet it's just feeding their ego, right? Because you put them on that that throne what do they want or need well we already know what they want <laughs> spirit says they need to look at themselves and their behavior they need to really take a good look at how their actions and how they're conducting themselves what consequences are happening before it and what they're putting out into this world what they're manifesting in this world by their behavior so spirit wants them or spirit says that they need to have a good look at themselves, right? And I think that this person too, as much as they need to look at themselves, I don't even know if they have that capacity for self-reflection. But karma, karma's here. So maybe they're going to get a good dose of it. I'm just saying. The people who, whose hearts they keep breaking... Cycles are cycles, and it just may come around and happen to them. Let's see what else we got. Yeah, there it is. So the outcome here is I think that you guys are you're going to walk away from this situation. You're going to see that this individual is a manipulator, that this person is a liar, that this person is a charmer, but that's all they are. They're a playboy or a playgirl for that matter. They come and they go as they please, but they're non-committal. Hence, all of the contents in that cup that they're offering you is upside down. All those false promises are falling out because you're seeing the truth as they come and go. And so your higher power told you this. You're smarter than you think, Libras. So just trust your intuition on this one, okay? Spirit says that you already know what's why. And they gave you the answer, which is this is them out of two decks, okay? So Spirit's confirming it for you. Let's see what's going to be the outcome for them. I feel like you're not going to let them back in. Yeah, there they are. <laughs> Look at that. Power and control. That's what this, this connection is all about. They are going to continue to give to who they want, when they want, and leave others begging and wondering where they are. Do you see how she's on her knees there begging? But they'll give to other people when they feel like it. It's, it's about power and control. This person loves to control, and especially by manipulating the emotions of others. This person knows how to do it, hence they're so sneaky and deceptive. And they're really good at it. I feel that they're really good at it. Because even with the moon's energy, there's there's still this this calming effect, right? It's almost it's almost trickery at its finest, right? Because even the moon can be alluring and it can suck you in. It's like the tides, right? Like it comes out and it sucks you in like a tide would, but then the sun comes out and then the water releases again. So that's what I feel like they're doing. They're or they're gonna do. They're gonna keep playing games over and over and with whoever 
that they can control what they can control in terms of their intermittent reinforcement being there when they feel like it leaving when they feel like it and keeping people begging for them and putting them on a pedestal because their love chemicals get all crazy and then all of a sudden they're they're left alone begging for them again so you got this libras i'm just curious i'm gonna pull the dark tarot here sorry this is a little crooked <laughs> look at me but I'm going to pull the dark tarot here because I want to see exactly what you're dealing with here. What is this person's issue, please, spirit? What is what is this person's shadow? What what shadow aspect are they operating from? I think we already know, but what shadow aspect? <laughs> yep, the temple of my body. There you go. This is somebody who uses their looks and their charm to get whatever the heck that they want. But notice how she's got their claws. So she, she gets her claws into the person, but it's not for anything good because this person is empty, right? So this person may be beautiful, but you look at the evil behind their eyes. It's just to feed their ego is all it is. It's just to feed their ego. They sink their claws in and that's it. And it's because they have this beauty and this charm that they can do that. All right, Libra, so you're smarter than that, and I think that you're going to be walking away or not accepting their bull butter anymore when they come back. Let's get you a postcard from Spirit. What do we got, please, for Libras? What do we got for Libras? Libras, please, Spirit. What do we got for Libras? Oh, you want to come out. Okay. Dearest, wonderful you, to help you manifest a life for the highest good we invite you to examine your deepest desires imagine all your desires no matter what kind like magic seed pods in a basket glowing with infinite potential look closely at each one are you afraid that some may bring you too much attention and invite negative reactions from others is change too daunting are you afraid to stretch and grow let yourself be led forward and let the needs of or sorry the seeds of positive intention take to the wind your desires count and you are worthy of them they are essential for co-creating your world did you ever consider that when a desire comes from deep within you it might be spirit moving you to create something beautiful to share with others some desires are infused with miraculous powers to move the heart and influence the world in ways that you can't possibly know we know you and love you so deeply and are so happy to support you i think that what spirit is saying is that just because as well, just because this type of individual has found their way into your field, as you learn to love yourself, don't give up on your desires because you'll manifest the right one. Okay. But this one is not it. Okay. And this is also good too, to show you that you're being too giving and too kind in this connection or to potential suitors in that respect period so let's get you an intense card cultivate gratitude gratitude is a life-changing practice that over time improves your state of well-being it has been scientifically proven that a daily gratitude practice supports the mind from depression start a gratitude journal today Write a simple list of five to 10 things daily, or as often as you remember, you will be surprised how many things you find to be grateful for, even if circumstances and situations are challenging in your life. Do this consistently for a year and your quality of life will improve. Beautiful. And I think that that's what this is talking about. Be so grateful for how well you've done, how far you've come and just how much you have because you're doing so incredibly well for yourself. And it's usually the successful people that attract these types because these types want the power and the status that they can't make happen for themselves. So they leech onto others and they create a little entourage or a harem for that matter that they can go to whenever they feel like it. Okay. So truly sending you so much love. See you guys again soon. Bye Libras.